What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another quick take. Today I'm talking about the taking of Pelham 123, the original 1974 classic. I previously reviewed the 2009 remake as part of my Tony Scott Director's Marathon. I'll leave a link in the description below for that review. I decided to do a quick take on the original. I've seen it finally. It follows the same story as the remake. A group of hijackers hijack the subway train one, Pelham 123 and they demand a million dollars or else they'll start killing off passengers every minute. The terrorist in this movie is played by Robert Shaw. You may know him as Quint and Jaws. And the dispatcher who, who's trailing him down in this version is played by Walter Matthau. And the cast in this film is pretty good. And... I'm going to say it, I think the movie was a good thriller for its time. I bet if I was living in the 1970s and I saw this film on the big screen, I'd probably be on the edge of my seat. The movie was very intense for its time, and the movie does have a great cast, especially Robert Shaw. He plays a more classier version of the terrorist than what John Travolta did in the remake, who was a lot more over the top. But he still did a great job, and I still thought Walter Matthau was good. But I think for me, because I saw the Tony Scott version first, I got into the remake a lot more. I think the remake, I think the tone was a lot grittier, and it was more intense and thrilling to watch because of Tony Scott's direction. The director of this movie later on did Jaws of Revenge, so take that for what you will, but not saying this movie's bad by any means. I just think the Tony Scott version, I think, executed the tone a lot better. I thought the dialogue was more engaging in the remake. The original film, it was a little slow in places. And also, I just thought the two main characters had more of a personal connection in the remake through their dialogue. And here it's just an everyday job for Walter Matthau's character. And it just didn't have as much impact for me. I guess that's an unpopular opinion because I looked... Uh, a lot of people prefer the original film over the remake. The original film actually has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, and the remake had mixed reviews. But I'm being honest, I enjoyed the remake of Pelham 123 more than I did the original. It's still an interesting watch, and I do recommend it. I do recommend both versions, actually, and check them out for yourselves and see which versions you prefer. For me, I'm in the rare position that says the remake from 2009 is better than the original from 1974. As for the original taking of Pelham 123, I'm going to give the film a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 63 out of 100.